Ramón y Cajal was uh, the founder of modern neuroscience. Why is Cajal the founder of modern neuroscience? Because he uh, described the neuron as an individual element. These drawings were, were all done um, towards the end of the 19th century, the beginning of the 20th century. They represent some of the truly iconic drawings that Cajal created. Working with Ramon y Cajal's work, I started to feel this um, almost like an understanding. It was almost like he was like one of the scientists in, in a lab at the NIH. We want the public to understand where all these ideas about the nervous system came from, and we want the scientists who are working here every day to understand that too. Well, we have a couple of his most famous drawings, one of the, the hippocampal formation, one of the cerebellar cortex, beautiful drawing of the retina, which is my personal favorite because that's the area of the brain that I study. And in particular, um, a, a drawing where Cajal explained the, the difference between his theory of, of, of uh, contiguous but discrete neurons in the brain and Camille Golgi's theory that, that the brain was a syncytium. And Cajal made a drawing which is literally a textbook explanation for the difference and we, ha we have the original here, which is very exciting. We have an exhibit to Santiago Ramón y Cajal and the drawings that laid out the ideas that we use every day to think about the nervous system, but we also have art, art that's inspired by him and by neuroscience in general, and that also represents the kind of creativity that goes on every day in this building and around the world. I have to say that the neatest thing about this, having them here and then seeing people come up and look at them and, and, and get excited, because for neuroscientists, seeing an original Cajal is, is an amazing thing. Ramón y Cajal es un universal hombre, uh, 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 no? es un hombre de ciencia, y la ciencia debe ser universal.